Mega. Everybody knows about the rosy maple moth. An adorable moth species that looks like a pretty princess with pastel pink and yellow colors. They are iconic. Found mostly in the eastern United States and Canada, where the silly striped caterpillars can be found feeding on the leaves of maple tree. But here is something that not everybody knows. While the moths are famous for being adorable and pink, they can have different varieties too. Such as this one. Yes, this is a rosy maple moth too. Now I know what you're saying, but this one is not very rosy. It's just pale, kind of white or yellow. It's not a rosy maple moth, it's just a maple moth. That's right, folks. I've been raising some of these moths lately, and I've come across some interesting and unusual color varieties myself. And then I've worked hard to gather footage for some of my viewers of some of the unusual color forms that you may not commonly encounter. I hope you enjoy that. Some individuals can be very pink. It's true, they're famous for it. And I mean extremely bright, almost purple, strong pink. But others can be more pale. In some cases, there are yellow intermediate forms with a reduced pink color. And sometimes they can almost be entirely yellow. I have been working to get some of these varieties on camera for you. Rosy maple moth sadly only live for a few days. Males in particular have a short life, mostly up to five or six days. Females live a bit longer, usually 10 to 12 days. But sadly, these tiny creatures are very ephemeral. Moths are often overlooked and underappreciated creatures in the natural world. And yet they play crucial roles in ecosystems and have fascinating behaviors worth exploring. So by showcasing moths on a dedicated YouTube channel, we can open people's eyes to the incredible diversity, beauty and ecological importance of these insects. Moths are vital pollinators, just like bees. And they serve as an essential food source for many other species, including birds and bats. Of course, rosy maple moths are actually not pollinators, so maybe it doesn't apply in this instance. But in broad terms, it does. Educating people about moths helps to dispel common misconceptions, such as the idea that they are merely pests. It also fosters a deeper appreciation for biodiversity and the complex interactions that sustain our environment. By filming and studying moths, we can inspire curiosity and encourage conservation efforts and promote a greater understanding of the natural world. A channel dedicated to these fascinating insects not only entertains, but also enlightens, making it an important resource for both nature enthusiasts and the wider community. That's why you have to make sure to subscribe so I can dazzle you with more amazing moth species in the future. I've filmed close to 2000 species on my channel and I intend to keep going.